All right, folks, you got Joey and Nate here coming to you live from the studio. Yes, we sir. Are, we are back in action. We got uh, Mr. Rodney Bell working the camera for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we've been, we hadn't got to record a whole lot lately. We have been on the road nonstop. Yes. Wide open. Extremely busy. Between Wide open. school yes. and general office, it's been long. It's been nonstop. <laughs> we, uh, a, lot, a lot of you listeners know that we, uh, we started a store. We have a brick and mortar store, and then we also have an online store with, uh, you know, DixieDoggers.com. That's right. Just check it out. We got a lot of stuff added to our website now. We have a lot of stuff in store. Yes. Uh, we, uh, we carry all Southern Cross products and all dance products, uh, for your briar proof clothing, uh, stuff like that. A lot of garment accessories, a lot of antennas, Tons of stuff like that. And now, people. and we also, uh, we don't just sell collars and leads anymore. Now we, we also manufacture them here at in our house. place in house. So we can, you know, if you need a certain amount and you want a certain color, you want, uh, or if you got a new design, yeah, or something if you got, sort, you want three different sort of. colors, it doesn't matter. We'll make it, uh, we make them however you want them to the length that you like your specification. If you want a beta and cable lead or a chain and cable lead or a leather and beta, whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll make it. Uh, y'all check that out online, uh, dixiedoggers.com. Also, if you're around, if you're around the, the Southeast, just come on by. Please. It ain't that far. It's 20, 15, 20 hour drive for you. Just come see us. Oh, yeah. All right. So we got a few things that's going to be happening after the, uh, the worst thing in the world that happens to us. Deer season. Deer season. They beat us down. Boo. Boo. We love deer hunting as well, yeah. but with dogs, with dogs. <laughs> it, it's, it's kind of tough right now for us to even snag old straggling swine out. We, uh, but when deer season's over with, we got some events coming up. Nate can tell you some of that. Uh, first event will be what January will be the first leg of the Downsville Band. What weekend is that? January nineteenth through the twenty second. So, per the usual, there's going to be a lot of dogs ran. Real quick, uh, Jake's getting it more and more efficient, cutting out some of the Calcuttas. It's a love-hate thing. It's like we love the Calcuttas, but we hate all the time we spend on it. I think yes. now they're only doing, what, the Bay Off Calcuttas? I think so. And, you know, you just buy your option with your dog. It's uh, it's it's all right. You know, yeah. we'll get we'll, we'll move on. Yeah. We'll just, get over it. Yeah, Let's we'll get over guys. it. We'll get over it. I, my dogs pretty much suck, and I don't ever really win nothing. But every now and then, I'll get on the Calcutta. And uh, I'll hit a little bit on the Calcutta. Yes. So that you know, I don't know. This year it's probably be a lot better. We, uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna let Randy keep handling my dog. You he's know, studying him out. I know he's been studying. Yeah. Him out. At least I'll get a pup maybe. But yeah. uh, well, shout out to to, to our yeah. main we'll plug, our main one dog. and only Randy Darrell, Mister Controversy. Nobody cares about Randy. I was talking about my yeah. dog Goose. Yeah. Big pimp and Goose. What was that? Four times. Yeah, four time world champion. How five five, five year, year old, old dog. Uh, it's pretty stout. I think he said you could get a breeding and a puppy for a thousand dollars, but the deal was he got first and third pick. I don't know. He's never told me. I mean, which we've talked about. That's stuff, what he but... put on Facebook today. Oh well, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Honestly, to me, be like whatever he. You know, that's. I mean, we're gonna have to discuss some stuff though. Yeah. He keeps doing my dog yeah. like this, yeah. pimping him out. Tired no respect, him. yeah. But you know the no respect deal. Let's get into that right quick for the Bay Pin guys. What about Cowboy? No respect. Nobody no. gives the dog respect. Cowboy is probably the winningest dog in the world in history. He's I, one of those where it's like he's a great dog. Nobody loves him. Yeah, nobody loves. I him. do. But he, but the dog doesn't really put himself in a bad spot. Well, no, he's he just he's good. Yeah. How old is Cowboy now? About 72. He looks 72. That he's, dog looks old as hell. I don't, that I, really, dog, I don't know how old he is. I don't know. I imagine he's getting double digits. But I think as in the two dog, I think he's like top one of the top dinners for like most winningest ever, is he not? Yeah. Because I know about any time you pair Cowboy with anything, yep. Cowboy's probably not going to be the one to make the mistake. Yep. He's a good dog. But, uh, and it's not just that. There's there's tons of really great dogs. I yeah. want to give a shout out to uh, one of my some of my Bay Pen family, Lulu. Uh -huh. Her and Mister Joey, 
they they put it down at the last event out there. They uh, Lulu came a long way with that dog, and I just want to give him a shout out. You know, I, you like to see people that really put their heart and soul into it, and they really believe in something because the dog. When I first seen it a couple years back, when I really first started paying attention to the dog, uh, I didn't see what she sees. And and yeah. most of the people, if we're all being honest, and I, I mean, I'm one of those kind of guys, I'm going to be honest about it, whether, you know. She proved a lot of people wrong. Yes, 100%. <laughs> she proved a lot people of people never, wrong. Most people would have never put that kind of time and effort into it. And and they, they did. And uh, which, I mean, you know, Jared supports her and makes sure that they get to the bays and do do what they need to do. And Amber, Lulu, she uh, she takes care of all the rest. You know, pretty much. Yeah. Jared's Jared's very great. Jared's team. the brains, the bronze, and the look and the money. And Lulu's just got the dogs. That's what it is. They, they and a great they, attitude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> great attitude. It's all yeah. attitude. Yes. That's what it is. So, but anyway, they, congratulations also to Mr. Joey Barkley for that run there too. Y'all, y'all y'all's dog really put it down. Uh, that's the kind of stuff we like to see. And another. High honorable mention to me would be that bright eyes dog, Miss Jim King Trail. Yes, that dog is so quick. The I dog mean, is after fast. that for sure. The dog, how old is Bright Eyes now? It ain't a very know. old dog, is it? I, I have, I really, I don't know. I don't know much the about it. The dog doesn't appear to be very old, mm. but from what I've seen, I just started paying even attention. Even when to the it. dog does kind of get in a tight spot, the dog can usually get itself out of some tight spots. Yes, exactly. It's very agile, very quick, and we got. I noticed at the last few events we had a ton, a ton of new people. Yes, young people, especially at uh, Hickory Crossings. November. Oh, that was one of the biggest yeah. shows that I that I've ever seen. Yeah, I bet we met what a hundred yes. new people all under the age of twenty five. Yeah, just tons of new guys. Uh, a lot of them brought dogs. A lot yeah. of them didn't. A lot of woods hunters. Yeah, a lot of woods hunters up there, and they like that pen because it's it's got it's trees got, in it. got trees and stuff in it. It's more of a it's easier on a woods dog. Yeah, it, it really is. It, it it really is. Um, we had a great time there as usual. It uh, show ran ran pretty good, pretty smooth. Uh, they got some more hogs. Yeah, they still need more. The hogs the hogs were a lot better this time than with the last one. So. Yeah. And that was the 30th anniversary also. 30 freaking years. Continuous. 30 years, y'all. That's longer than I've been alive. No, not really. Sure. But sure. That's a long time. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yes. It's a long time. And my hat's off to Mr. Mark for keeping that going. It's hard to keep anything going for 30 years. 10 years. Hell. And, and especially with the stuff that they're up against. Yes. Uh, he's always up against some kind of bullshit. Yeah. Hopefully that new ad commissioner, I don't, I haven't yeah, I don't know if he got, got in or not. Or we not. were talking to Russ Bryant yeah. and he was talking about it. We had a good yeah. conversation about that. Uh, had, you know, the, and that guy's kind of more of a, a realistic individual on, you know, the process of what happens at the, at the Bay Pen yeah. stuff. He's so, trying to enable it. Yeah, to to happen. Maybe, maybe he'll get. Maybe they'll get him in there and uh, and and loosen the the strings a little bit on them, so that yes. way they're not restricted so much. So, all right. So we had a like I said, had that. Then uh, the next event that'll be coming up right after that would be Broughton Island. Broughton Island. What weekend is that? It's in February, correct? February tenth through eleventh. February tenth through eleventh. It's the it's the first show they've got to do in a while, hasn't it? They I didn't think, get to do one last two year. Years. Yeah, I, I think, think two think two or three years. years. It's been a while. So, uh, Calvin, look at yeah, tadpole, thick pin, so. y'all holler at him. Get uh, try to get that on your calendar. That's the sweetheart, baby. That's where you can take you take your girlfriend or your your wife or whatever or both of them, however you got it, you know, if you can do it, do it. However it works. Take them out there for Valentine's Day. Different uh, strokes for different folks. If you got it like that, you're stroking like some, it's all I'm saying, but you know what I mean. If uh if you get a chance, go out there to Broughton Island, visit with them. We have never got to go. No. Never been there, but man, it, 
it's going to take a whole, whole lot for me not to go. It yeah. has to be something. Just, I just, I got to see it. I, I got to see it. I'm tired of hearing about it. I don't want to see well, it. Well, I ain't got no trophies from there, so I got to do that. You got to I try to anyway. at least get, or at least have well, a trophy I mean, of a win. lot of yeah, Maybe I get it. I wonder if they get participation. Mark finally felt bad enough for you. Gave you the sportsmanship trophy a few yes, years ago. Yes, he sure <laughs> did. He got tired of it. <laughs> Maybe they give me a participation trophy. But uh, y'all make sure y'all go check that out. Just come see us while we're there. And uh, we'll get Rodney to sign autographs for everybody. Then after that, we have the first time ever Mr. Ronnie Creek is throwing on, what is it called, Nate? Hog Dog Rendezvous. The Woods Hunters yeah. Hog Dog Rendezvous. Okay, I the name got longer. I, no, I think that's huh. what it is. Yeah. yeah, I know. But Mr. Ronnie Creek uh, is putting that on at the Boar's Nest in Tyler, Texas. Yes. That'll be February 17th through the 19th. God dang, man, we're going to be rolling again. Yes. We're going to be weekend after weekend. And this will be a competition style for woods dogs, not a bay pen. It's going to be in a a high fenced area. Six acres. And you're going to take your dogs four. There's going to be four dogs cast, kind of like a, like a coon hunt deal. They're going to cast those dogs and you know, they'll have it on a point system. Where like the first dog who strikes will get a hundred points, then second, third, and fourth goes on, and then you'll have the dog will have to locate and find the pig, which will be in a, a box or in a, in a cage. That way it's controlled, and they will have to bay. They have fifteen minutes to do this, you know. And just because your dog gets there first does not mean that he wins. They're gonna have judges that are gonna be. In elevated stands where they can see all this. Yeah, so there's a scratch line judge. And yes. how many judges out in the pen? Three. Are there? I, I'm pretty sure yeah. there's three. I think it's out four there. judges total, three in the pen. Then we have the cameras too. Line. Yeah, there'll be cameras. The uh, best part of it is the collars. Yes. At they the give scratch you a line, collar. they're going to give you a collar with a color on it. And that is how the dog is judged. It's not by the name or anything like that. So it'll be like, and each heat, I don't, I don't know what colors they're going to use, but for yeah. example, uh, yellow, orange, blue, and red, something that you can differentiate between all those as long as the judges aren't yeah. colorblind. And it'd be like the same colors. Yeah. You know, every every Just cast will have reason. the same dogs. Yeah. yeah, well, that way, you, like you say, oh, well, I know that dog right yeah. there, you know. I think, Mr. And, and it'll be done before you get to the yeah. line. Yes. You know, you won't, basically, the judges and the people there don't know whose dog it is by, you know, unless you, Actually, no, no, the dog or whatever. So, but there'll be also live video feed going back to a big screen where you can see what I was going on with the dogs. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah, be all right there. And I think. And I believe Mr. Ronnie said, I want to say he told me every forecast he was going to do a different, like, like re drag it yes. to keep it fresh. But don't quote me on that. I don't, well, might, that's what we might make talked it about a well. couple more. Might make it less. I'm not sure. And it's, but, it's a hundred dollar entry. With eighty yep. percent payback, uh, it's been a good response. So There's at far. least a thousand dollars added. Yeah, we had, we added a thousand dollars to it. Thousand dollar added money to the purse already. So I mean, you stop and think, you get yeah. You know, if you get thirty or forty dogs out there, I mean, it's gonna be a there's a, a good few, payday. There's a few thousand dollars right there. Now, if you get a hundred dogs, now you talk. You know, mm-hmm. you you're gonna be bringing home uh, six seven thousand dollars. That, and that ain't bad for a weekend going out and just casting your dogs. And it'd also be uh, like those dogs will have to go like certain rounds. You know, you 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 win this this cast, well, then you get in a bracket to go to the next round, then you got to win that cast and do it again and keep on till the last dog standing. Uh, it's going to be interesting. We'll see how it works out. If this works out, we're going to talk to uh, Mr. Chris East and uh, – See if we can't put one on at a big bay, a bigger high fence over at the Circle R board pen. Yes. And uh, see if we can't put one of them together. Uh, the reason it's not going to be on a real big platform right now is because some people's dogs are hard to catch. Yep. You six know, acre pen is definitely easier easier than yeah. Circle B board pen where it's 500 acres. Yeah, you got five or 600 acres and you get a hard head dog that don't want to come back. Well, you're going to spend a damn hour chasing the dog. Yes. And you can't waste time like that. No. You got to keep this stuff rolling. 
And there's going to be a lot of kinks that's got to work out. Everybody's got, got to be patient. You got to support each other. Yeah, you know, it's got to be some kumbaya shit and everybody hanging on. And if you have an idea, there's a way to bring up that idea other than, well, why don't you just do this? Don't be a smart ass. Don't be a dickhead. Nobody likes a dickhead. Don't do it. That's a Mm no-no. I mean, that's like touching your butthole. No, no. Don't do that. That's bullshit. Look, Mr. Ronnie's going out. I definitely wouldn't say that to Mr. Ronnie. He might hit you. Yeah. (laughs) He (laughs) might hit you. We love Mr. Ronnie. He Mr. Play. Ronnie is kind of like a a fig that's on a fig tree that's been there a long time. You know what I'm saying? He's uh, just right. Yeah, it. Yeah, you might want to take a bite of it, but you might have to lick your ass for a month to get the taste out your mouth. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of rotten. You gotta watch him. But now, all joking aside, we love Mr. Ronnie. Then we're also there's also uh. Another guy, Cody Fritz and Charles Kipp, they've been throwing out the, the notion about doing another Bay event. If we can get there, all everything to work out together, coincide the dates, and then we'll have that information for you. Then uh, Rusty Mayshore, we got one looking at his sometime in April, I think, because they were going to do one in December. Then he had, they had some stuff come up. You know, so still going to do another one. Just had to postpone that one. Then we got... Boys and Brawls. The next Tulsa Standard Memorial Hunt will be coming up the first week of March. March 2nd to 5th, correct? I'm pretty sure that's what it is, first first weekend in March. Uh, we're going to have the another Shankathon hunt. We're going to have the Classic, and it's going to be in that area. We, have, we do not have a concrete date just yet. And, I mean, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty, and we got to get one set, but there's a like so much shit going on, and in February, it's going to be extremely hard to fit all this in. Right now, we're looking at what somewhere second, third week in March, right before. I can't be any a lot of we got to check all our turkey, yeah. turkey season. I said, but really, the only one that's going to get held back is Mississippi. If not, if not, we still will try to do it right there the first weekend that we can do it. Yeah, in February, even even if it's the same weekend as one of the other events. You know, which the thing about it, our event is it's virtual. So yeah. technically you can do two events at one time. Yeah, you do not have to be physically yeah, you present. You don't have to be physically to present. Accept I mean, anything. We will mail you your awards. Yeah. Now we'd love it if you come down to the store and took photos That's and you right. have to shake your hand, but if you everybody don't everybody can't be Heath Calico. Yeah. Not everybody's Heath Calico. No. Nobody can be with the whole cartel. Like Let that. Them know. You know what I'm talking about. You gotta watch him. Caleb Smith. You know about that boy. Poetry. Poaching. Allegedly. Well, he's got it tattooed on his butt. In theory. He's got a P on one side, a weird looking O in the middle. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, I'm telling you, you got to watch him. I don't know. I, I haven't got that close to tell you. Got, Evidently, you're he's much all closer the way with him than I am. He don't call him my buddy for nothing. It's my buddy. It's my buddy. All right. So, maybe we can get all that shit straightened out. But, definitely, the Tulsa Standard Memorial Hunt you guys, 100%, if you're a woods guys and you like to do the tournament-style hunts, make sure that you check that out. Yeah, Boys and Brawls guys will get it. You know, you can find it on any of the social media because, I mean, they're out there in the social media world. Everybody should know them. If you don't, then something's wrong with you. Yeah. They're good good fellas. Uh, Carter and Ryan both, they're, they're friends of ours. Well, at least I, they tell us that. I don't know. They probably tell other people something different. But anyway. And we definitely we're, want to support that. We're at least friends until they act too bad at Logan's Roadhouse. Yes. And then we don't know. And then they got Rodney Bell up there at Logan's Roadhouse, and there's all kind of weird stuff going on. I don't know what's happening. They're damn Mennonites. Yes. Entrapment. That's exactly what it is. So, all right. So, there's our events that we have, our upcoming events. So, the next thing that we want to get into is just kind of let's go over a little bit of what we've been doing. Working. Where we've been. Uh, since when? Since the last time we done so a podcast. Was, yeah, it's probably been about a month at least. Uh, October, so <clears> we went <throat> to Tyler, Texas. Oh, it was before. It was longer than that. I don't remember. Last one we done was Heath. Or both, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was Heath. Because we had recorded one. And we done one with Ronnie and uh, yeah, we done one Carter with, and them down there yeah. in Downsville. In Downsville. Shit, I don't remember. I'm telling you, it's been like a world. That, that was October. Yeah. So it's been almost two months. 
at least for a hiatus. Mm -hmm. uh, so we went to Downsville, and that was beginning of October. Come back to Jack. Come back to here. Come back. Uh, then we did go. We went to, to Georgia. Georgia. That was after Tyler, Texas, though. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Went to Downsville. Oh, yeah. Then we went to Tyler. The, Tyler. the Terrier uh, Trials. Yeah. The HTA. The that was trial. a good event. We got to meet a lot of new people. We got to meet uh, Chris Powell with uh, Houndsman XP Podcast. Yes. The Houndsman XP shout Podcast out to guys. Houndsman XP. They, they were really good. Chad Reynolds and those guys. There's another guy there. Seth. I think his last name's Hall. Mm -hmm. He's got some, uh, he's got those uh, rabbit coursing dogs. I can't. Are they Greyhounds? Saluki. Yeah, they're slickies. Okay, I seen there were sure there were so many slickies. dogs there, but it was a there man, was a lot of new people and yep. a lot of people from out west. I knew Chad. He had brought they several drove, yeah. several of like Long his. Ways. I guess you classify them as apprentices. Yep. Basically, like it was their first dog, and there were some good dogs. Yeah, there, there was, was a lot of dogs of, that had never seen the pig. A lot of and, good dog work and did good. Uh, Doreen Spires, that woman there, my hat is off to her. Yep. She, she was a good time. She was funny. Yeah. She was funny. She's a big help. I mean, it, yes. and the show went good. It was pretty smooth. I think everybody had a good time. We, uh, I want to, want to give a shout out to my buddy, Snotty Graves. He showed up, yes. came down there and hung out with us. Felt like a crossover episode. Yeah. Cause I mean, like <laughs> what we're getting at here is like, you know, this guy, he's into the, to the, the pro bay circuit. Yeah. He's and, a top contender. Yeah. He's every event. All, all the time in the top. And, and, you know, he took time out. And I think he was bringing a, a dog out for his cousin or something. Yeah, I, he brought a young pup yeah, out of and, Mouse and Woody and then to he turned uh, around, Tyler Sladen. Then he turned around, he got a dog. Yeah, you know, get he wound up getting a jag, and uh, which the the Oak Terrier Club, which I've been a part of that for a long time. I've had the, the jags for decades now, and I guess I'll always have one. We had had a pup out there that really showed out. Got him from Jacob Zachary. Uh, he he really. Done very well. Tyler Sladen and them's dogs did extremely well. Like I said, there's there's so many dogs. It just it's, it was unreal this time. It was yeah. a it's freaking great event. Yeah, uh, we all had a good time. I don't it, think anybody really got butt hurt over anything this year. The only thing that got butt, was... butt hurt was me wearing them damn American flag paintings. Beautiful. That was on. That was pretty tough. Beautiful. It was uh, which I mean, you know, Chris. And and Tyler and them, they wear track shorts. A lot of you redneck guys like me, you don't know what track shorts are. Track no. shorts are what we say. All right, so you see this little fella running up down the road wearing them panties. That's that's a track short. Like what Larry Bird used to wear, but shorter. Yeah, and so they had a pair, and I wear a size two to three X, and everything. And these were a medium, and I it involved Quite a lot. Snug. Of, it, it actually involved a lot of duct tape. And vacuum so bad. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a rough experience, but I mean, I'm glad I could be a part of it. We made it happen, Captain. So, but I, I'll, I'll bullshit side. It was fun. It was a good time. Yes, um, was. And that was like we just now started doing our mobile stuff. We got a trailer with our collars and leashes and stuff. And thank you so much to everybody who came and bought anything from oh, us. Yes, we greatly appreciate it. We don't know what the hell we're doing. We just no. started doing this, like literally, the, the past few months. We have no experience doing this stuff. All we know is products that we like and that we use. And now the more that we're into it, I guarantee you the next time you come up there to that trailer, it's a whole different deal. Like we, we got a lot more products. Uh, I'm not going to say one's better than the other or whatever, but we got, we got the best stuff that we can get. Yes. And we kind of know we got a system together. So stuff flows a lot better. Uh, so we look forward to seeing y'all at the, at the next event for sure. So we, uh, but after the Tyler, Texas deal, we came Hartwell. back here. For, yeah. We came uh, back here for a week. Three, we, was it a weekend? Yeah. yeah we actually yeah. Stayed. And Hartwell was November 5th and 6th. Yep. We stayed that weekend. Well, we went down South and hunted or something. Didn't we? we hunted that weekend. I think we did. That was the only weekend that we had. Yep. We went to Demopolis. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We that was the weekend Demopolis. we went down there. So that was like a couple of hours away from the house. And then we went to Hartwell, out mm -hmm. there to the to the bay at Mar at Marks at Hickory Crossing. With a bunch of new young Then guys. we came back here for three days, loaded up, went to Nixon, Texas. Yeah. That's a long ride. 
That was a very long ride. Go, went down there to visit with Slade. Got That's to see the El Perro Loco. El Perro Loco. Got to meet them. Yeah. Got to was... meet a bunch of new woods hunters. Uh-huh. Got to meet the one and only Brandon Munoz from Texas Tusk. Big Brandon. Finally got to meet him and his get along gang. That was, I, uh, there was quite was a few. They had some damn good dogs. Too. Yes. For woods dogs, Brandon's dogs went right in there they went and in went to like work. They, yeah, they, they did not. They did not care. Yeah. And shout out to one special woods hunter, Cole Gilmore. Cole, my man. All clicked up. Hey, let me tell you something. He had probably the worst first experience you could have at a bait pen. Yeah. If I'd been him, I would have left. I would have yeah. been slinging rocks and cussing folks, but he yeah. didn't. He no. talked He talked to us, and I'm not saying that he stayed because of us, yeah. but we, we talked with him a little bit. The issues it, he had he got was resolved. Understanding. They all got resolved. Everything worked out good. Yeah. and had a good weekend. He was he's one of those guys. He you know he believes in his stuff and what he's got. And you know he was talking a little shit, carrying on. And then when it didn't go that way, he came over. He's and, like, hey, he's like, hey, it didn't go that way. Loved it. Absolutely oh, yeah. had a, had a great time with him. Him and his wife were there, and they had that Alabama red bones. Those are some good looking. I'm dogs. talking about. He had an Alabama red bone is what it was called. Ain't that what he called it? Yes. Alabama red bone. It was like a like a high red plot. Plot, yeah. Like I mean, brindles. this was a brindle dog. I mean, it had two of them. Yeah. And you talking about some powerhouses. I'd run the piss but out of them. But they were dogs. red. Like the red and the brindle was like a red bone red. It was, yeah. It was interesting. It was wild. I, uh, some, I don't know. They, they were calling them Alabama red bones. I said, well, hell, give me two of them. Sign me up. And then, uh, but other than that, we have been on the, we put 10,000, I think, I want to say it was 10,538 miles or 853 miles, something like that. Cause I had it figured up. It's ridiculous. A lot of miles in five, five, six weeks. Yes, for us, it is. it is. I mean, there's people yes. that do a lot more, but for us, that's a lot. Uh, so it's, it's just, I don't know. I know I'm glad to be home. Most definitely. There ain't Most no definitely. doubt. Enjoy being home. Or at least in my at my house in Startville, at the minimum. Well, yeah, because <laughs> it's it's one of the deals where, like, I was leaving here, I'd go drive to Startville, yeah, swing by and get Nate, then we'd take off and go where we was going. So, yeah, luckily, everybody. Time mm-hmm. What time is it? Right? I'm sure it's going to be twenty minutes. I ain't no time. I can't. It's thing rolling over. I'm serious. You go up there and just look at it. Yeah. You have to watch that timer when it gets down to one minute. Then you have to push it again. I know we've been going for a while. I know we've been going for a while. Well, recording the audio. It's fine. Ain't no big deal. As long as we got our audio and stuff on there, it's fine. I don't know where it was at though. Hey, where it stopped? Do you want to go on there and back it up and see where we was at? On that part? Yeah, I can. Yeah, but I really man. don't feel like doing everything over. I'd well, rather just do just. Yeah, I just keep going. What's we'll uh, that? Watch it. it don't matter. It's all the same thing. So we got the. Uh, got a, That's all our updates, I guess. Yeah. From from where we've been rolling around the damn world. Uh, I don't know what's next. Tried it. We we thought it was like, well, we'll be home for a few weeks. We'll oh, get to last take weekend, a break. But last weekend we went hunting. Yeah, it, finally, that's the first time we've hunted in two months. No, no, no. I'm talking about running hog dogs. I mean, hog dogs, yeah, <laughs> but hunting. No, no, we went. No. We've been doing a little squirrel hunting. Yeah, uh, a little deer hunt. Last Saturday we went with Jared. Yep. Um, Joe and Kenny and them took all them out. There yep. Was, Here's uh, Alpha Charles, CJ, Logan. Yep, we killed six. Yeah, we killed yeah, we, we killed six. They had they had a good day. Uh, it was a rough day too. That was kind of kind of a kind tough of slow, day, but killed some nice squirrels, some big gray squirrels. Those were big old, some big mature gray squirrels. Yes. Uh, Foxy and uh, Dot, they both did real well. Dot's coming on strong. That's a good little pup. Yeah, just from the first hunt that we took her on with Jared. Because uh, she was just break. me too for a long time, yeah. and and she's well, she's really the first time. I mean, she was like signaling tree, but she wasn't really chopping. She wouldn't bark. Her. Yeah, but now she's chopping. Well, we had a couple weeks that, uh, you know, when I could slip off, 
I go hunt a couple hours with Jared, in which all I was doing was really just tagging along, you know, walking with him, helping with the dog, or whatever, just evaluating the dog, really. And man, there was several times that she would tree, and you could see squirrel, but she would not bark. But and he wouldn't knock it out to her either, you know. So it's like, hey, if you don't tree, you don't get it. So yeah, that's fine. But then all of a sudden it clicked, bang. Yeah, that's one thing I will say about Jared's dog. Now I have a preface: I haven't hunted behind very many squirrel dogs. Only what I've seen on the internet and on TV. Uh-huh. But those two dogs specifically, I think the thing that I like about them the most is that they don't tree super hard. They will stand back. And those dogs look up and they're watching. They're sight hunting those squirrels, so they timber out. Well, that's a meat I, dog. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the squirrel timber out, and they are on it. They can see it, and they will go to the tree that it's timbered out to, even if you don't get there fast enough. Exactly. And, and that's because really like. there's a lot of stuff like the competition side of it. You know, you want to tie your dog back as soon as it trees and all that, and you get up there to it, so that way you can keep it right there on it. Yeah. And that's what you got to have in that. But in the reality side of it, where you're going out to get you a pot of squirrel and dumplings, yeah. or you're going to make some gravy, you got to have a squirrel. You can't just get points. Points will make the thinnest soup you ever have. Your ass will be skinny as hell. You want to lose weight? Eat point soup. Tell me. That's fair. It's kind of like mater soup. No maters in it. Tag soup. <laughs> I ain't never ate that. <laughs> so I don't ask bullshit. But anyway. So what's what's uh, after that? We went we went, went hog hunting Sunday with Heath Heath Calicott Argo Outlaw. That's a, yeah, the Argo Outlaw, Outlaw Argo caps. processing, <laughs> Argo excavating, Argo mechanical. Basically, Argo if you let Heath trim, do it, Argo Heath gravel. will do it for you if you give him some money. That's right. You pay Heath, Heath likes do money, it. and he says, "Let me work." Yeah. Heath does many things. Lazy is not one. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, that's but you gotta you gotta be able to get up and go. Morning started off pretty slow with that. His uh dog was her name Missy Maggie Maggie. Yes Maggie. She was acting kind of odd. Every dog getting near her, she's wanting to get nippy and stuff. And he's like, I think she just wants to hunt by herself. And sure enough, he hunted her by herself, and she had a pig struck up and bayed in twenty minutes. It didn't take long. <laughs> we hunted him, her by herself. I, he's I, like, because you know that's what I told him. I was like, well, just take her by herself, and walk up the hill. Because we had some on camera the night before. Mm-hmm. I said, and hell, the, the way the layout of the land is, you know, like we, we come down, it, it's weird. It's like we're on top of a mountain, but it doesn't look like a mountain. You think you're on pretty much flat ground because it's such a huge area. You're like plateaus where they surface mined it. Yeah. And then you get, go to the back side of the property, drop off of a hill about 300 feet in elevation, and then go back up a hill. Yeah. So in that valley, it leads down to a, a hardwood bottom and a creek. And uh, so that's where we figured they was going to be at. And so I told him to just take Maggie and go by herself. And, of course, at first he was like, well, I don't want to do that. I came hunting with y'all. I, you know, y'all's dogs, too. I was like, look, we're, we got young dogs, basically dogs that are just now putting it together on their own. They're, they're, you know, they're not puppies, but they still need well, all the time they can get. These Mac dogs are very old, is she? She's two years old? Maybe. Yeah. So and she she was 14 months old when we carried 13 to 14 months yeah. old when we went to Hickory Cross. Back first part of your plot day. So she she's t- maybe two. Now yeah. we got on that first one, uh, 150 pound boar hog. Yep. Those pigs were real interesting color. They were jet black, had super curly hair, and then on the bottom and like a collar around their neck was blonde. Yeah. Very, uh, Almost never, white. Never seen a hog colored like that. Yeah. Uh it looked like they ran through yeah. white paint just on the bottom side. Yeah. Of them. We, uh, probably so. Well, that'd be White Hawk. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a couple up there that's solid, that, that's yeah. solid blonde like that. Big. Yeah, that, that big. one big hog would come on camera. Last that's night. That's what looks like somebody's land race got out. Yeah. Like a big Chester White. I'm talking about big. His head is a little steep. Slow. But yeah. it's not like. He's got big ears. It's not like, like big. Yeah. Big ass he, ears. He's very blooded. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot water. of damn something melts in him. He he's got that damn I don't know some kind of damn domestic of some sort. That's what it looks like, but Somebody. he can get get it too. We will get his ass okay. around and find out. Yep, we'll let him eat. But anyway, we turned uh, we got that one took care of, and we carried the dog we got from uh, JT from Jonathan Thompson. Uh, 
dog named Matt. I carried Matt to the bay pen. He done a good job in the bay pen too. I mean, yeah. He's not a bay pen dog, but we carried him late in bay a little bit. Uh, so we we carried Matt over there. There were some hogs that had broke out from where the first bay was, and it was probably I don't know fifteen minutes, twenty minutes in between yeah. that. So we took took Matt and OJ down there, and, and Matt took track. He ran them down. Went down there three hundred yards or so, I guess. Maybe like 280, something like that, in the worst damn briar thicket you could see in your life. Yeah, we thought they were further down the hill into the bottom, and they were actually on the side of the hill, and we could have drove 50 yards to them. Well, probably about 75, yeah. maybe. Yeah. I, I could have got a lot closer. I thought they were down on the bottom because he kept telling me, he was like, well, we, we could drive they, around we, here. We I thought was, they I was, was like, with me. Yeah, I thought they was farther down on the bottom. Yeah. I was like, no. I, was like, I told crazy. him myself, I think my garden was working right. He was like, yeah, they're together. And I was like, She's over here. He said, no, she's over there baying. I said, no, Matt's over there. He looked, he said, yeah, that's your dog. He said, well, hell, she's over here because you can hear them little pigs squealing. Yeah. She was doing something different. I don't know how many we killed in total. They, no, they she got on the piglets. And she, I mean, they was, she was, was some bitch was reaching. That's about 100 pounds out though. 70 pounds, so like that. I was, it was 100. It wasn't a, we'll say 350, but it was, a, it was at least 100. Keep it modest. Nobody wants to lie about it. Jesus Christ, five inch cutters on that sale. She's a bad bitch. It probably came from down there in South Mississippi or Louisiana where Logan Campbell or Pat Lewing, one of them hunt. They glued their teeth on that sale, sent it up here for me. That's what it was. I said, we got to get on here too. We got to get Logan Campbell. Yeah. I got to get him on here because those guys, they run a totally different kind of dog than what, what we run. Uh, there's more. There's more of a big game hound. So. It's it's a running dog, ain't no doubt. It it it, it can it can push a track and, and stick with one, and it's got enough yeah. that it can get one to stop. You know, there's a big damn difference in hounds. People don't take that into consideration. Those running hounds are something else. Just the the ability to run that fast for so long is beyond my comprehension. <laughs> As a uh, lard ass. What did you get? Because I ran for 20 minutes and I've been plumb worn out. I run for an hour, like jogging or something, workout, yeah. and yeah. that's rough. I couldn't imagine running 14 miles an hour for four or five hours that they do at those fox pens. And it's almost, it's a very similar dog, just more manipulated towards the hog aspect. Yeah. It's got the same, the same process, just a different principle you know what they're after the uh I, I, i'd like to go down there and hunt yeah and just you know see how how their hunts go from start to finish and not just you know not just like one turnout or just kill one hog or something like that but do a multiple deal where is you, if you've got you know got three or four days where you can go do it see and that's that's one thing i'd always like to do Back years ago, you could do it. You could ride around and find a track and put a dog on that track, go find, and, and, you know, yeah. potentially catch the hog. Now it's, it's so hard to do that. They broke all the property up into small parcels, and they're, they're selling all of it off. And, and I understand, you know, it's, it's just the way it is. But the, the evolution and the changing of the style of dog that we're running now, I, I don't know. One of them where I mean, we're always trying to evolve, yeah, but it's hard to keep up with them. And it's like if we didn't have to evolve, then we wouldn't. <laughs> I said, if we didn't have to evolve, we wouldn't. No, not at all. Because uh, if we had 10, 20,000 acre tracks of timber that we had access to, I know we would run hounds, yes. but we don't. So, we yeah, don't I'd run be, hounds. it'd be <laughs> it, there'd be a lot of mixed up hounds. Yeah. Well, that's what I'd be running, or something that was. Half hound at least. You're gonna to have to have some cur in it. Yeah, that's what I like. Because hounds are such a love hate Kimer. relationship. Give me some of that Kimer cur in it. We we need to get Mr. Kimmer on yeah. the podcast. Okay, look, here's the deal. Here's the deal, guys. This is what we've been talking about. We ha we have not corrected anybody to their face. No, and we don't know because I mean I really don't. So we hear so many people that say Kimmer cur, and then we hear so many people that say Kimmer. I, I know I have a, a weird British Canadian accent, but 
Is it yeah. Kimmer or Kimmer? Which is it? Yeah, I just want to know. So for people that are listening, go down here at the bottom of the, the video or, or whatever you put it on. Comments. And let's let's see. Let's just take a vote. And then what we'll do is we'll call Mr. Kimmer and ask him what he says. Because yeah. a lot of y'all already know him. I mean, they know him. They know who he is. Talk with him, stuff like that. So, uh, Mr. Kimmer. That's that's what I would call him. Yeah. That's what I would call the man. Personally. That don't mean that that's right or whatever. So, I don't know. But I know what's on the agenda tonight is some yeller dogs swinging on some pigs, hopefully. Hopefully so. We're supposed to go tonight. Maybe we can catch some. Rodney's got some black dogs. He's wanting to turn them loose, too. We're going to paint them yellow. Does Cole have any dogs? Or is he only I, dogs? I don't think he has any anymore. I I, he's, he's got a, a, like, he's got some, I think he's got a squirrel dog and a couple other dogs. I know he's got a coon dog. I He's know supposed he, to have uh, some rabbit dogs. Huh? I don't, I think he got rid of them beagles. I don't know yet. I'm going to ask him. But I know he was talking about a, getting a squirrel dog. I was going to get him one. And then he, he's got a puppy. So I told him, I said, you know, I'm just going to put some time into that. But I mean, if I could find him a good one, something that's already really doing it, hell, I'd get it for him, you know. Help him out with that. There ain't nothing like, to me, I, I love going with a good, good dog. Yeah. I don't give a damn what it is. What kind of hunting you do? As long as it's good at what it's doing. It's, yeah. it's I just like watching watch. good dog work. Yeah, that's the main thing. So we, uh, let's see anything else we need to get get on here. And right, try to get out while we while we're doing right. our updates and our dee 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 hog dog news. Yeah, basically. Uh, I mean, other than that, said basically, that's not basic. That sounded good. Okay, Hog Dog News here. Uh, it's Christmas time. Buy some stuff. What else is yes. <laughs> Live Telemundo. I guarantee you, uh, if you have uh, anybody in your life that is a dog hunter, they always need more stuff. Go to www.dixiedoggers.com. Yeah. Go to that place and buy your loved ones some hog dog stuff. Yeah. Or some coon dog some stuff. Some hunting some dog, dog stuff. stuff. We are not dog hunting races. No. Hunting dog supplies. That's what we got. And we'll ship them to you. They'll come in a little box. And when you open it, you will see somebody smile. So. Or if you don't, we still love you. I don't know. So. All right. Well, look here. We just thought we'd drop in, say hello, give a little update and shout out. We'll get our YouTube channel back up and going. They cut us off. We gotta get it back up, rolling good. Make sure that y'all keep a, keep a check on that. We'll try to keep y'all updated and put out more stuff and all that good job. So. Oh wow! Oh, I know. That's everybody knows. Yep. That's what I done told them. But they take this down. They can't. There's nothing we can do. Nothing. Yeah, we got another channel. Yeah, we got another oh, yeah, channel set back. up. We got another channel uh, set up. It's under the Dixie Dogger's name. I. Didn't have the TV this time. Yeah. Uh, it'll be, it'll be back going. We'll get the info. We'll let everybody uh, know. I'm going to re upload a lot of the old videos that I still have. Uh, I had an issue with uh, one of my hard drives a few months ago. And so I lost several of the original podcast episodes and YouTube videos, but I still have well, most fun. of them. So I'm going to upload what I have so y'all can continue watching on there. But if not, all the other podcast episodes are still on Spotify. That's right. Y'all go to Spotify and check us out. Other than that, all social media platforms that I like is what we're on. <laughs> so, all right. Hey, we appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thanks to anybody that's, you know, that's helped us along the way. Uh, we got a list of people and we go through this all the time and I, I we just don't have time. One day I'm, I'm going to make like a four hour long segment of just listing names of people. That I'm thankful for. We're going to get Rodney in uh, swimming trunks and write everybody's name who we appreciate on him. That's right. And then just film that. There ain't enough room on him. So, hey, we appreciate y'all. And until next time, y'all keep the hounds on the ground. We yeah, out. Have a good one.